The early college football signing day is a lot of players across the area making all their plans official. Very exciting day. Seven News Sports Director Pete Yannity joining us with some of the big news. Pete. Yeah, Amy, big day for several area players, although this year because school is out for the Christmas and New Year holidays, well, for the most part, there weren't that many ceremonies going on, but a lot of guys did make it official, if not in the few ceremonies that did take place, uh, certainly online uh, to the respective schools are headed to. This was an emotional moment this morning at Powdersville High where Thomas Williams had a ceremony, a dream that he had beginning at age four fulfilled. He is headed to a full ride scholarship to play for the Virginia Tech Hokies. He'll be a defensive back for them. Maybe eventually touched the ball in Blacksburg, but he, of course, was a star on both sides of the ball for the 3A Upper State Champion Powdersville Patriots. He helped put their program on the map as he now moves on to the next level, excited for the next opportunity. And really, when he committed a few months ago and announced his intentions, that's when you can say he began breathing easier. When I actually committed, they're like all the weight, like just off my shoulder. Finally can just worry about just school and not the recruitment process and everything. We heard the chatter, you know, year in and year out, like uh, he's probably going to end up somewhere else and never heard that from him. And uh, he just kind of rolled up his sleeves a little bit more and more each year. And, and you talk about somebody being faithful to a school and wanting to help put a school on the map. That's just what he did. Among others who made it official this morning, a trio of Gaffney Indians, Brayshawn, Little John going to Missouri, his teammate and Shrine Bowl teammate Nathan Johnson to App State, and their quarterback Grayson Loftus making it official with the Duke Blue Devils. All those guys had committed a while back, and we'd heard from them about their college choices, so they now move on to the next level as well. Speaking of QBs, Hillcrest High's record setter, Bennett Judy, staying in the area. He signs with Western Carolina today. He's a guy who was amazing these past two seasons through for about 7,000 yards and Ben and Judy now getting ready for the excitement of the next level playing for the Catamounts in the SOCON. And the culture they're building there is really something special. Uh, Coach Kerwin, and, uh, they, they really want to win a championship. You know, they're not going to be, they, they say there, they say championship or bust next year. They're getting the recruiting classes in, in now and uh, I think that's our goal there and it is something I really wanted to be a part of. He's going to play in the rock and roll offense at Kerwin Bell. Another area quarterback will be signing this evening. Spartanburg's Raheem Jeter going to have a ceremony at the high school. He's and other players moving on from our area and heading to the other end of North Carolina from where Bennett Judy is as Raheem Jeter will sign with East Carolina. Remember about a year ago, Jeter had committed to West Virginia, but uh, afterward backed off of that and he'll become a pirate instead. Of course, the Gamecocks and Tigers bringing in a lot of players highly regarded from lots of places among those from our area staying in state. Marky Anderson of Dorman, the big lineman going to USC, while Tyler Brown of Greenville and my son Kelly of Daniel signing on with the Clemson Tigers.